I've been really spending my time on Microsoft's latest flight simulator and that's why I decided to upgrade and get this. This is how basically I've been flying with Microsoft Flight Simulator in the last 20 hours and we are looking at the Trustmaster Officer Pack Airbus Edition. It's basically a new joystick and throttle that resembles what you get on a real Airbus plane and today I'm going to tell you all about my experiences with it. Let's begin. So that was a super quick unboxing. How are you doing my friends? I'm Autodeal and welcome to my channel. All that I do here is basically review gadgets and talk about my experiences with them with a heavy focus about anything that really relates to Microsoft's latest flight simulator. That's why today I actually invite you to join my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button down below. Once you click on that button, you'll be able to see my future gadget reviews and I promise you, if you're into flight simulators, you really want to be subscribed to this channel because I have a ton of gadgets coming up in my mail that you don't want to miss out on. So let's talk about what we're seeing here. Basically, I did a quick unboxing and as you can see here, I have the throttle over here and I have the joystick. The first thing I want to tell you guys is that as of the time of making of this video, this hasn't been configured yet on Microsoft's latest flight simulator. So I'm also putting my current setup and configuration of this throttle on Microsoft's flight simulator so you can see how I configured it because the default configuration isn't ready yet for this throttle as of the time of this video. Um, and I hope it's been already updated if you are watching this after this video was released. But I just showed you my configuration. I hope I helped somebody because it took me four hours to get my configuration ready. Now that we've done with that, I'm going to tell you about my experiences with these two guys. First of all, the first part of the joystick is the joystick or actually the flight stick. And as you can see right now, it's really uh, for me, it's, it's a huge deal because we get a lot of buttons over here. You get six buttons on each side of the joystick itself. You get the actual joystick which feels amazing when actually maneuvering your planes and the design here is Airbus design. So you see the Airbus colors and you get the Airbus buttons on the throttle and even the stick looks the same but you don't get on the real airplane obviously the triggers which you need for other games than Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, once you get disconnected and you have a separate USB for each one of these by the way so it's really different than uh, my reviews of, uh, let's say, the Thrustmaster full kit. If you haven't watched my review of that uh, specific setup, check out the i button above. But in the end, I gotta tell you that I love this joystick. It feels a lot better than the T-Flight full kit. If you are left-handed or right-handed, and if you don't wanna sit on the captain's uh, seat, you can change things up because you get the buttons that actually let you uh, exchange between these two so you can change the way that the uh, autopilot button actually is situated, whether it's on the right side or the left. I keep it on the default, which is, which is on the right side, because you should be flying this with your left hand if you want to practice real Airbus uh, flight simulation. Other than that, you get two buttons over here on the trigger, so you can change things up and you can add your own customized actions or operations if you want using this trigger. On the bottom there is something that I really like and this is a throttle stick but they could have removed that because you're getting a separate throttle, they didn't. So you can actually change this into let's say the spoilers for example and that's amazing because if you want to get like the spoilers running you can easily um, change this button and have it uh, easily accessible. So I like that we have another throttle stick over here on the bottom on the joystick even though we didn't really need that as we get a separate throttle and we're going to talk about that right now because it's a big deal. The throttle here is amazing. As you can see you also get this panel here on the bottom. We get a bunch of buttons that you actually see on the real Airbus and uh, two of these are going to be basically turning off and on the engines which I don't really use that much and I don't really use, uh, don't really need that as a shortcut so I actually change that into uh, let's say opening up my gear and uh, parking brakes but you also get two other buttons over here and you get a three-way toggle switch over here on the bottom which obviously everything you can change and you don't get this setup as default at the time of this video when I made it so I already told you that if you want to see my setup here it is. The big part here is the thrust lever and as you can see right now you can basically 
really feel like you're flying a real Airbus. You get all the different positions of the thrust levers that you get on a real Airbus. Let's say you wanna switch to toga or climb. You feel when you get there, there's a click and there's also like a stepper that's over there, but it's not too hard on you. So you feel like when you get to that position, but it doesn't stop you moving forward. It's really easy to switch to toga, which actually means full engines. But another cool thing here is these two buttons or triggers. When you press on them and reach the zero, uh, throttle limit you basically put your engines in reverse and that's amazing because you can really feel like you are flying a real plane when you're doing that and you can really shorten the length that you need on the runway when you want to put basically your plane on a short runway you can switch your engines in reverse once you get and uh, touch the ground so I like that a lot that's the biggest feature here you also get these two buttons on the side and I also got it connected because usually I move the engines total at the same time unless I have an avionics issue um, but you can't get these two separate but like I mentioned before at the time of making this video there is no default configurations yet for these two so it was easier for me to get them connected and actually just uh, use the default just use my uh, specific configuration to get them moving forward and backward at the same time at the same level um, because this is still in early age this just got released this week my friends I've been flying it for more than 20 hours sadly not in English you can watch me flying in my gamer deal channel but like I mentioned before it's not gonna be in English so I hope you can still enjoy the flight and I'm doing live video streams of me flying with this for more than two hours almost every day um, the two buttons over here, I actually I actually configured them differently than what they are on the real plane. Um, usually you click on them to go to Toga quickly. I changed that. I actually use them to increase or decrease my autopilot's uh, uh, speed. And also here on the bottom, you can actually connect another set of these to uh, your computer. That means that in the end, you're going to have the option to control four engine aircraft with two of these and you get a lot of buttons because you also get the two of these panels again so all in all there's a lot of upgrade options once you get this kit but after using it for 20 hours of flight i gotta tell you guys it's an amazing joystick setup and if you want to see more information about it check the links in the description below because i also have pricing for it i really enjoyed using it it's probably the best joystick that i've used up until now and if you haven't seen my uh, other joystick reviews or flight stick reviews check out these two because you can see uh, my thoughts about uh, my former setup in uh, using flight simulator and also check out this cool review it's not a joystick but you'll still enjoy it and subscribe here if you haven't done so already i'll see you on my next gadget gadget review and i have a cool thing really cool gadget coming up so stay with me you don't want to miss that bye bye